Welcome to the 2009 North American International Auto Show from Detroit, Michigan. We're glad you're here and this is your all access pass to the show. Wagons or estates are really popular in Europe, but haven't had a lot of success here in the U.S. Cadillac hopes to change that with this CTS Sport Wagon. One of the stars of the show is the all-new Audi R8. All new, you say? Well, this one is. It's got Lamborghini's V10 engine in it, 525 horsepower, 0 to 60 in 3.9. That paint job goes fast. This is the 2010 Prius. Had its world debut at the North American Auto Show, and what you Two things you need to know about this car is 50 miles to the gallon and it has a 0.25 coefficient of drag, which makes it the most aerodynamic car in America. Ooh. Excuse me, I'm just going to uh, caress this new baby. This is the all new Z4. All the power, all the dynamism you expect from a BMW, but now it gets rid of some of that secretary's car look. This thing is sex on wheels. Please turn the camera off. A couple of months ago, James and I were driving the Audi A3 2.0 turbo diesel in the Audi mileage marathon, getting over 50 miles to the gallon. Well, good news. At the Detroit Auto Show, they just announced this car is coming. 50 miles to the gallon. I like it. I know what you're thinking. James, why are you standing with the mini convertible? But it's been out forever. Well, not really. Here at the Detroit Auto Show, we had the world premiere of the all new mini convertible. Mini has been teaching this car industry a lesson on how to sell a lot of style, a lot of efficiency, and dang, do you look cool driving this thing. Right behind me is the all new Lexus HS 250H Hybrid. That's a mouthful. What you're looking at here is basically a Prius in Lexus clothing. It kind of has a lot of Corolla in it, and actually has a little Ford Fusion front end, so I'm not really sure where it's all going, but the end result is you're going to have a compact luxury car for the first time in the market. I'm standing here next to the 2010 Buick LaCrosse. If you ever cared about Buick, you probably never have. If you ever cared about portholes, you probably never have. But this might be the first Buick you should take a look at. This is actually designed in China, so it's unlike any Buick you've ever seen here in the American market. This is definitely not your father's Buick. Luxury crossovers are a hot segment. Cadillac with the current SRX was really out of the game, but now with this new SRX, they just got back in it in a hot way. Okay, we're gonna make this real easy. Remember learning the alphabet in kindergarten? The letters are what counts. BMW M series, Mercedes-Benz AMG, Lexus has the F series. This is R. R stands for supercharged, R stands for high power, R stands for more chrome, more bling. This is the XFR, a great car done even better. The compact crossover segment is super hot right now, dominated by players like the RAV4 and the CRV. But the second generation Equinox is just as hot. A couple things. You get 30 miles to the gallon with the inline four, it says direct injection, and there's a six available with over 250 horsepower. Now those are some exciting numbers. Well, how cool is this? I've never seen a display like this. Have you, James? The gentleman in the back seat said this is a new $2,700 option on the Ford Taurus. I thought the Taurus was cool. I mean, this is quite the sunroof. Wait a minute, it's closing. <laughs> All right. But what you can see here is the front of the all-new Taurus, and the question is, will this be the face of new sedans for Ford? Until that time, let the sunshine come in. <laughs> Ford Motor Company has had a lot of success with the Flex. It almost won North American Car of the Year. Right behind me is the Lincoln MKT. It's just like the Flex, just a lot more wood and leather. Not too bad. Hello everyone, welcome over here to the Ford display. We're hanging out in Mustang Alley with Ron and James and they're about to put this 2010 Mustang customized to the T. If they can handle it, we're gonna test them out and see how this works out. You guys ready? We're ready, very ready. I think, all right, let's try it. All right, we're here at Mustang Alley. We just finished the customization. Let's hear one for the Challenger. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I meant the uh, Camaro. Hey. All right, all right. How about Team Mustang? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the state of Detroit is the biggest stage, and there were no less than 12 new models introduced 
this year. Some really exciting things. What uh, what caught your eye there? You know, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but when the all-new Ford Taurus rolled out on the stage, I kind of caught my breath because it's an all-new look for Ford. It's a brand name, the Taurus, which is well known, but has been allowed to wither on the vine a little bit. This new one's hot. It should do well. Yeah, and that, this could be the face of all Ford sedans, uh, you know, for the next few years to come. That's big news. Well, for me, it was the Equinox. This is the second generation Equinox. And, you know, the thing about that compact crossover segment, there's a lot of players like the RAV4 and CRV, but, you know, the Americans just never really had that design, you know, anything really appealing. But uh, this is the Equinox. I mean, it looks so much more expensive. Well, there you have it. A lot of great new models, and uh, we can't wait to come back and see which one's going to win Car and Truck of the Year next year. Until then, and the New York Auto Show, cheers.